Hey there, thanks for listening. Blessings on your life and on this day. Hey, let's take just a second and pray. Lord God Almighty, ask your blessing on this friend. May your Holy Spirit pour out into their lives. May life and abundance and joy be in their hearts, in their spirits, in their souls, and grant them strength. I pray for you to meet the needs that exist in each person's life, and may hope move in them and through them. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, amen. Thanks for joining for a minute in the Word. This is Brian Scheimer. I'm so glad that we can hang out together for a moment. We've been working through the Sermon on the Mount, named that because Jesus preached it on the side of a mountain along the Sea of Galilee to his disciples and the crowds of people that were following him. We're in the second section where he's been saying, when you give and when you pray, and we come to the third of those now this evening, plus some other sections. So let's enter into God's word as we open scriptures together. Here's what Jesus says. When you fast, do not be like the hypocrites with the sad faces, for they disfigure their faces that men may know that they're fasting. They have received their reward. But when you fast, wash your face, anoint your head, so that it will not be obvious you're fasting. And your heavenly Father in the secret place who sees what is done in secret will reward you openly. Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy and thieves break in and steal, but store up for yourselves treasures in heaven where moth and rust do not destroy and thieves cannot break in and steal. For where your treasures are, there will your heart be also. The eye is the lamp of the body. If the eye is good, the whole body is full of light. But if the eye is bad, the body is full of darkness. If the light within you is darkness, how great is that darkness? We'll stop there for this time. So Jesus, again, speaks of when you do something, not if you do something, right? And talks about hypocrites again. And I talked about that last time, about the fact that that's the word for actor in that era and a person that put a mask literally in front of his face to portray the part he was betraying. Therefore, hypocrites are people that are masked, who pretend a certain way in order to gain attention from others, clearly from what he's talking about in this one. They put on a sad face that they could be seen by others. Jesus made this statement three different times about giving and about praying and now about fasting. Don't do it in order to be seen by others, but do it in order to be seen by God. Don't you love the language that he uses here? God, who is the Father in the secret place, who sees what is done in the secret, will reward you. How? What did it say? Openly. I just love the contrast of God's open reward to those who do that in secret, and how those that do it for the sake of men seeing them will already have their reward. There's nothing more they'll see, nothing more they'll gain. What can we learn about the character of God? That he pays attention to what is done in secret, in the secret of the heart, in the secret of the soul and the spirit, in the secret of those prayers that we pray only to God. And not if you fast, but when you fast. Was he speaking of the nightly fast that everyone does? Or speaking of the decision that we make to go without food or certain foods for a season, a period, in order to pay better attention to God. What's the season, what's the cycle for you of actually fasting, of doing without, so you can gain more with God? Jesus changes scripts then to a second section. Do not store up yourselves for yourselves treasures on earth because they can be destroyed and stolen. But store up for yourselves treasures in heaven. So God moves from these three statements of when you give, when you pray, and when you fast, and then turns 
to speak about what do we do with our treasures, storing up treasures. What treasures do you store on earth? And have you seen how this is true, what Jesus says here, that where you put your treasure, your trust will be there, your heart will be there as well. Is your trust centered in the amassing of wealth on earth or the amassing of things? Or is your heart set on the fullness of God who sees what is done in the secret place and rewards you? And what about this language about the eye? The eye is the lamp. What do we do is lamps for? We turn them on, right? Like this light where I am right now. You see? We turn it on, turn it off. That's what lamps are for. So how is the eye a lamp? It lets light in. But what interesting terminology. What would we learn about the eye, physically, spiritually, that it's a lamp? And what might it mean for an eye to be focused on that which is darkness so that it fills the person with darkness? If the light within you is darkness, Jesus says, how great is the darkness? Do you learn anything about the character of Jesus? That he gives three commands, when you pray, when you give, when you pray, when you fast, and then this warning, do not store up on earth. And then this additional warning, be aware of what you're using your eyes for. How does the use of the eye relate to what happens with the heart? What do you think? Love to hear from you. Have the blessed, best day, the blessed day, best day, and be filled up with the joy that God alone brings. Hey, thanks for tuning in.